Uh, shall we talk about moral principles and values? That, uh, okay. Well, we're here with Congresswoman Black, and we're going to talk about her views on moral principles and values. My first question would be, can a human being follow a moral principle without ever intentionally violating it? Oh, my goodness. Uh, golly, that's a pretty deep question now. Can uh, you follow a moral value without, without ever intentionally violating it? A moral principle. A moral principle. Um, I think it's, it's pretty hard to say. I mean, we're fallen people. We're, we're sinners. And I have a moral base in every day. That's my prayer in the morning, that I will follow um, what the Lord would like for me to do. But obviously there are going to be times where I will fall on the outside of that. I don't know that I really violate my moral principles, but I, I don't um, think that I completely follow what I, I would like to follow. To, to a certain extent, I think you... You know, I really try to be good, and I try to do what's right, but maybe I haven't done all that I could do. So you think it's possible to follow the moral principle without ever intentionally violating it, or not possible? Without ever intentionally violating it. Well, I don't intentionally violate it. Okay. <laughs> that's a hard question. So okay. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, you you would never intentionally violate any of your moral principles, right? I try as hard as I can on my moral principles to stay with them. No, I don't intentionally violate them. Okay. I think because we're fallen people that sometimes okay. things happen that... <laughs> so, yes. should you follow your moral principles without ever intentionally violating them? Should I? Oh, I, I think that that would be a wonderful goal. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Can you mention one of your moral principles? Well, there are... Um, my moral principles come as a result of my Christian foundation. And, um, it, and every day, as I say, I try to be Christ-like. And so I can go down and name being, uh, being kind to my... It goes back to the Ten Commandments. That's where I get my moral principles from. Do you follow the principle of uh, love thy neighbor as thyself? I sure try to. Even those that aren't lovable... I try as best I can to love them. Maybe that's also a part of the compassionate nurse in me, that I try to see something good in every person. Do you ever intentionally violate that principle of love thy neighbor as thyself? And do I go out the door in the morning and say, today I'm not going to love my neighbor? No, I mean, in a particular situation, you decide not to love your neighbor as yourself and you don't act as if you love your neighbor as yourself. You know, I want to come back to, again, we're fallen people. If somebody punches me in the nose, I want to love them. The Bible obviously says to turn the other cheek. Uh, sometimes that's difficult to do. Is that intentional that I do that? I don't know that that's intentional. But, you no. Know, again, as a fallen person, there may be a time where I don't, I don't turn the other cheek. So sometimes you do intentionally violate the principle of love thy neighbor as thyself. Yeah, you're going in circles with me. <laughs> no, I'm trying to figure out whether you I follow. Answered that. You, but I is it, Did you answer it? Was it a yes or a no? That you do you ever intentionally violate the principle? Do I go uh, out the door and say? I mean, uh, do you take actions that you know violate the principle of love thy neighbor as thyself? You know, you take the pr you take the action, and you know you you, t you take the action. <laughs> And you know that it violates the principle of love thy neighbor as thyself, but you take the action anyway. I, I think that, you know, sometimes we do take an action that is, is not the way we'd like to be. But do I go out of the house in the morning and say, you know, today I'm going to intentionally violate my morals, intentionally violate uh, the commandments. No, I don't do that. So sometimes you don't do what you think you should do? Sometimes. Can you get to where you want well, me to go with this? I'm just. So, I'm not do, sure that I understand well, where you're trying to go. Well, do you do you I think go? I've answered that. Okay, but previously you said that you should follow your moral principles without ever intentionally violating it. It appears that in this case of love thy neighbor as thyself, you don't follow that principle without ever intentionally violating it because sometimes you take actions that you know violate the principle of love thy neighbor and you take them anyway. 
again, I think you're just going in circles. I've answered your question. Unless you have another question for me, okay. I think we're done. Well, <laughs> who, who should be the ultimate beneficiary of your actions? Who should ultimately be the beneficiary of my actions? I, I think if I am really somebody who tries to be Christ-like, that the beneficiary is that I am following what I believe that my Savior would like me to do. I, I think we're and, just going in circles, sir. I, unless you have something else and I have a flight to catch, I'd love to have dialogue with you, but I think this is just a circular conversation. Well, it's just, um, so you would, are you the ultimate beneficiary of your actions or someone else? I'm not... Uh, well, it can be both. I mean, you can, can be, be other... Is, should other people... I, I have a flight to catch. We've really got to oh, go. Okay, thank well, you. thank you for sharing your views on moral principles and values, Congresswoman. Thank you.